Hello and good day everyone. My name is Chris and this is All Together Gaming and today is another wonderful day for magic. It's time for another Magic the Gathering pack opening. Thank you everyone for tuning in. Please make sure to subscribe, like, and comment to be eligible for the prize of free MTG cards. It absolutely helps to follow me on social media. I will link those down below. That's where I announce winners and other such things uh, like other people uh, post other things. Um, I usually take time to write scripts out. Well, at least I have for the last couple and I am for all future videos. I've found it is extremely helpful. That's not one of these videos. I've been, I don't want to compromise anything I'm working on right now. So this video is just going to be a bunch of ad lib. I just wanted to get some cards open. I'm excited to open some magic cards. I hope you guys are excited. Um, I didn't want to, yeah, like I said, I didn't want to rush through any of those scripts, and I think that those are going to be really, really good when I finally get them done and get them edited and I get everything else. So, um, with that being said, let's get some packs open today. Um, this will absolutely be the most packs that we've ever opened at once, by the way, because we are card hunting today. We are specifically looking for a few things to either add to the binder, send out to you guys, whatever the case may be. Um, also, there's a special bonus prize for today's video as well. Uh, one uh, lucky random subscriber... Um, all you have to do is be a subscriber and have a comment on today's video and you will be eligible to receive four unopened, uh, packs of jumpstart. So really all you have to do subscribe, we'll comment on this video and you'll be uh, eligible for all of the, um, for the, uh, for the bonus. You could, you could essentially be drawn for the card that you asked for, um, and get the packs as well. So those will be two, two separate drawings and one doesn't necessarily remove you from the other. So. Uh, let's let's just start chasing cards. So, yeah, if you could tell from the thumbnail, uh, we're absolutely going after some things in the mystery packs and in Modern Horizons. So, um, I think we're going to just start cranking these things out. Uh, when I'm talking about the Modern Horizons openings, I am really talking about trying to find um, an Urza. Um, uh, Lord High Artificer. I would like to find uh, probably an um, she's uh, Ren and Six, a Yogmoth Thrawn Physician, a Seasoned Pyromancer. There's a ton of swords in there as well. Echo of Eons is pretty cool. I do already have two Force of uh, Negations, uh, which obviously two is not a full playset, so they're more than welcome, but I know they are hard to find. Uh, plus, there's plenty of uh, there's plenty of good lands in there as well. So, let's get to cracking. The whole set actually has quite a few cards that are above the dollar range. Plus, um, they do come with some really unique art in each of them. Let me make sure that I'm actually getting everything here. Uh, so, yes, token. The tokens are double sided in this set. But then they come with these art, the art series. Let's see if we get a good shot of that. This, this is the, uh, yeah, Echo of Eons. Snow Covered Island. Oh, Mythic. Right off the first pack. Ranger Captain of Eos. Nice, nice pull. Let's see. Let me grab this better in my hand. It's Splicer Skill. Pillage. Tempered Sliver. I lo I'd love to build a Sliver deck. Uh, Knight of Old Vanalia. Pondering Mage. Mind Rake. Pyrophobia. Deals three damage to target creature. <laughs> Cowards can't block this turn. All right. Windcaller Aven. Changeling Outcast. Ryan Tender. I love a lot of the Viashino cards. Viashino Sand Sprinter. Um, that's, I, I, from what I understand, Viashino is a race completely original to Magic. So um, the Viashino cards are really cool. Spell Snuff. When can you not need enough counter target spells? Like, really? Recruit the worthy. 
I love all the different mechanics that you see pop up in here. As you can see, I'm trying a different format too to filming today. Um, I'm going to try to add work on adding special effects and just things to make the video have better, uh, better everything. Audio, you name it. First up is our token. Soldier on one side, emblem on the other. What is that, the Ren and Six emblem? Ooh, more art. We got Waterlog Grove, Snow Covered Mountain, Winds of Abandon, Sorcery Exile Target Creature You Don't Control for each target or for each creature exiled this way. Its controller searches the library for a basic land card. It's nice, and you can cast this for overload. You may cast this spell for its overload cost. If you do, change text of replacing target with each. Wow. Could be a good card. It's a bit expensive, but... Soul Herder. Dismantling Blow. It's a nice card. Twisted Reflection. Magmatic Sinkhole. Putrid Goblin. Some of these are... I like the split mana cost. I know a lot of people isn't a, a fan of that, and especially the rules surrounding it in Commander, but I like it. This is a good card right there. I mean, two to remove any artifact or enchantment off the board. Not a lot of cards have ninjutsu, and I really hope that they keep supporting that mechanic in the future because that's got a, a lot of potential in Commander. Destroy target flying creature. Stirring address and phantasmal form. Ooh, one more. Reckless charge. That is one beautiful looking ogre. Anyway, on to the next set. Foil token. Foil goblin token. Oops. Hmm. What is that? <laughs> Chiller pillar. Snow covered swamp. Morning jitsu. Fallen shinobi. I hope there's uh, some some ninjutsu, uh, what's that, Yuriko? Yeah, I hope there's some Yuriko players out there watching this channel because just pulled a couple of good ninjutsu cards. Vengeful Devil. Glacial Revelation. Throat Seeker. Another Sliver. I did open a box of these before, and I did get a first sliver out of there. Um, I would like to keep expanding on the sliver collection to one day get one of those ultra mean cascading uh, sliver EDH decks that's just raw power and unstoppable. Venomous Changeling. There's so many changelings in here. Orcish Hellraiser. At the echo, at the beginning of your combat upkeep, came under control since the beginning of the last upkeep, sacrifice it unless you pay its echo costs. More ninjutsu. It's a really cool mechanic. Just gotta be dedicated to pulling it off. Everybody could use a goat nap, right? Soul Strike Technique. Alright, so. 
another shapeshifter token. Construct on the back. Ooh, it's a pretty good looking art piece right here. What do we got? What's this called? Ah, it's Hogak, Risen Necropolis. Snow covered plains. And then a Altar of Dementia. Sacrifice a creature, target player puts a number of cards equal to the sacrificed creature's power from the top of their library onto their graveyard. That's a pretty good card as well. I'd like to think that most magic cards are pretty good cards. Oh, I guess I don't want to put anything too far underneath my face so you guys can still see them. And then Talisman of Curiosity. These are very helpful. Um, all of the talismans that are in this set tend to hover around, like, I think that two, two to three dollar range. Battle Screech. Probably create two. One, one white bird tokens with flying. Flashback. Tap three untapped white creatures you control. It's a bit much for four out the gate, but... return from extinction i i love to play black so i'm gonna always lean heavily towards cards that um uh, deal with graveyard or removal <clears throat> black magic is my favorite magic to play splink sprinkle in a little blue can deal with a little white as well esper is probably esper control was the deck i played for the longest time in standard when uh big teferi was out because let's be honest it was unstoppable a little bit unfair to even play against. Fairy wizard. Goblins are on the market right now with, uh, I forget that goblin that jumped in off of Jumpstart, but he's re wreaking havoc in the, the, the uh, historic community right now. Next pack, shall we? Alright, so another goblin token. Is this uh chrome mox? Or um no mox mox tanalite, I think. Yeah, mox tanalite. Snow covered mountain. Force of Vigor. If it's not your turn, you may exile a green card from your hand rather than paying the spell's mana cost. Destroy up to two target artifacts and or enchantments it's not bad for four that's a good it's a nice nice card all right what do we got a vengeful devil rot widow pack it's another throat seeker vampire ninja unblocked attacking ninjas you control have lifelink it really plays into that ninjutsu mechanic <laughs> shenanigans Man, you can destroy an artifact. Two mana. Rocks veteran. Putrid goblin. Persist. When this creature dies, if it has no plot, minus one, one, it return it to the battlefield. That's nice. A lot of people don't become familiar enough with the common and uncommon cards. They think all of the beast power is in the rares and the mythics where yeah there's a lot of bombs there but all of your support cards are going to be in that common and uncommon category at least a lot of good ones that deck that i played um in an early the video earlier and that what it was going in the background that was a really good example i think that has 34 uncommons in it headless specter string, <laughs> string of disappearances lava dart like desperation there at the end with sacrificing a mountain. If you only got to do one more damage, that's what you got to do. All right. So, another goblin token. Ooh. We got here for art. Imazawa's charm. Let's 
snow-covered plains. Unsettled Mariner. That's a shapeshifter. Whenever a you or a permanent you control becomes the target of a spell or an ability an opponent controls, counter that spell or ability unless the controller pays one. That's pretty cool. That's just built-in built in counter magic right on the board for you. Talisman of Resilience. Here's another one of those. More slivers. This is good. I feel really good about these ones so far. Birthing Bows. Oh, we already seen this Orca Shell Razor. This Fountain of Icor. Scavenger. Irregular Cohort. Cave of Temptation. Nimble Mongoose. The art we just got. More Slivers. On to the next pack. Feel pretty good about all this so far. These are all really good cards right here. Probably going to move those six out now that we're on to the next six. Before we get going. Just so I have a place to show off the next six. Ta-da. Back up. Another foil token. Elephant. And here for the art we have... Everdream. Snow-covered island. Mirrodin Besieged. Enchantment. As Mirrodin Besieged enters the battlefield, choose Mir Mirin or Paraxian. Okay, whenever you cast an artifact spell, create a 1-1 one, one colorless mirror artifact or Phyrexian at the beginning of your end step. Draw a card, then discard that card. Then if you have three or... F what's that? Then if you... There are 15 or more artifact cards in your graveyard, opponent loses the game. That could be good if you're an artifact player. So, already seen a Cunning Evasion. And Gruel card, Human Berserker. Reunion Rioter. More slivers. More orcs. More changelings. It's like I want to give the appropriate amount of time for each card, but I feel like we've seen a, quite a few of these already. You guys let me know too in the comments. When you when you comment on these videos, you can go ahead and let me know what card you want, and if you need me to slow down, speed up, do you want the videos to be longer, shorter, you want me to open more packs, you want me to open less packs, feel free to give me your thoughts and opinions. I'd love to hear them. Soldier token. Ooh. And I really do enjoy these art pieces. Throat Seeker. Snow Covered Forest. And. What's that? Fashalic Mons. Legendary Creature Goblin Warrior. Whenever Fashalic Mons. Or another goblin you control dies, Fashalic Mons deals one damage to any target. Goblin Dex. Throws of Chaos. This is an interesting land. Get it turned into a creature. King of the Pride. Harkrum's Astrolab. Fountain of Ikor. Another Behemoth. Sovereign Angel. Man of War. Another Witch. Another Rhyme Tender. Another beautiful orc face. Wall of 1,000 cuts. Doesn't sound very fun. I kite. Alright, what do we got? Token wise, shapeshifter. 
Glad we're not duplicating any of the art so far. It's a uh, plague engineer. Snow covered mountain. Wall of blossoms and foil. Aria of Flame. When Aria of Flame enters the battlefield, each opponent gains 10 life. Woo! When you cast an instant or sorcery spell, put a verse counter on Aria of Flame. Then it deals damage equal to the number of verse counters on it to target player or planeswalker. Somebody please tell me how they would work that into a deck. Sadistic Obsession? Tribute Mage? Squirrel Nest! Everyone loves squirrels. <laughs> uh, oh, Bush Fury. I believe we saw one of those. Prohibit. Ingenious Elemental. Anamorph X. The art. I'm, I've always just. The art in Magic has always been amazing. On Earth. Trustworthy Scout. More counter magic. Quakefoot Cyclops. Let's see what we got. So, Zombie Token. Oh, it's that wall of uh, wall of knives, wall of one thousand cuts. That's cool. Art. Snow covered island. Boom! A first sliver. That cascade effect. I'm telling you, sliver deck, every color. This is a great commander right here. Great commander. It's a nice card. Nice card. Saddle Brimstang. Vesper Lark. More Uncommon Land. This is Cycling Land. This is always fun. I like all the different varieties of land. Being in a, primarily an EDH player, you need such a... Obviously, only being able to have one copy of each card, you have to have such a... Uh, your mana base has got to be a vast and, and fixed well. Seems like a pretty nice card right there. Winter's Rest. Defile. More shenanigans. Winding Way. More on Earth. Twin Silk Spider. Hmm. Phantasmal Form. I, w I didn't look at the set specs on this to see how many like commons or uncommons and stuff were in the set, but seems like a lot of the commons repeat themselves. Ah, I can see that first sliver sitting there still. It's a super great commander card. All right. Next pack. Elemental. More art. And it's like we're getting the card and then getting the art fairly close. Snow-covered plains. Let's see, here was one of those lands. Sunbaked Canyon, pay one life, add. Ice Hide Golem. Wing Shards. Grave Shards. There's a lot of Changeling cards in this as well. Knight of Old Manalia. Sliver Central today. Stream of Thought. More Changelings. Gotta get them spiders. Diabolic Edict. <laughs> Chellar Pellar. Let's see. One more pack of Modern. Last pack here, I mean, I should say. It's 
spirit. More fantastic art. Face of divinity. Mountains. And deep forest hermit. Vanishing three. This creature enters the battlefield with three time with three time counters on it. At the beginning of your upkeep, remove a time counter from it. When the last is removed, sacrifice it. Squirrels you control get plus one, plus one. Go squirrels. Go squirrels. This is a good card, actually. I have this in a couple of decks myself. Um, you can do quite a few things with it. Um, the hideaway mechanic. I use it in my EDH decks. I, I haven't put it in anything else. Um, enchantment. And as etchings of the chosen enters the battlefield, choose a creature type. Tre creatures of the chosen get plus one, plus one. Can't go wrong there. More ninjutsu. Mind rake. More man of war. I think we've seen all of these so far. Sliver. Yep, I almost put together a whole sliver deck based on what we've just based on what we've opened today. So let's clear the field. Oh, everybody, I hope everybody got a good good picture of what was there. Um, now we're going to do some mystery booster packs. All right. That, boom, that's already a great sign right there. Like, that is a, a staple in any EDH deck that, um, that runs white. Honestly, you need... You need swords to plow shares. That is a fantastic card. Great way to start this opening. Ephemeral shields. Thought scour. Sphinx's tutelage. Mind rot. My heart. Grave purge. Chandra's Revolution. Bloodstone Goblin. Gnarled Pack. Seal of Strength. It's a potential commander right there. Tatiova. Whenever a land enters the battlefield under your control, you gain one life and draw a card. We just seen that. Oh, wrong pile. And uncommon here. And Oak Rind Horse. Oh, foil chimney imp. Let me do this similar to how I was doing it last time. Heavy infantry. Survive the night. Lay claim. Oops. Put these on the wrong pile. I thought I was doing something wrong there for a second. Pondering Mage. Who doesn't like a lightning bolt? <laughs> I like that the art varies on those. Ultimate Master's card. 
Battle Bond. The crowd goes wild. Great packs. I love the idea of these mystery boosters. If you run an enchantment deck at all with green and white, I run a Bant enchantment deck. This is a mandatory card in that. Please, anybody that runs Bant that doesn't have a Seder enchanter, please get a hold of me. Ooh, Phyrexian Metamorph. Ooh! Man, it's like Commander Central in here today. And a foil. Our type of endurance. So, Phyrexian Metamorph. Horse. Summoner. These are good packs so far. More Battle Bond. So, Battle Mastery. I don't know if there's any rhyme or reason to how they put these in there. Like, common versus uncommon. Right of Precinct 6. Destroy target artifact or land. It can't be regenerated. A little pricey for three, but if you're in a pinch as a red player. Torch Courier. This thing is great. This is a great little one drop. Give something else haste. Metal Sentinel. Jungle Barrier, Plant Wall. Eldraine, Scorn's Broom. Archangel. That's an old commander card. Vigor. This is our rare from Battlebound. Trample. Oh, wow. And then a foil is. Treasonous Ogre. Okay. Three more to go on these. Refurbish. Crib Swap. This is a for surely an EDH card from recently. Battlebound Frostlink. I've just seen these and few packs ago in the uh, Modern Horizon. The Boon of Emrakul. Monastery Swift Spear. I run this in my modern my modern deck. Mono all, mono red. This um this card is great because obviously there's shocks, lightnings in it. You can pump these things up. They become great. Gaia's Protector. Gore Clan Rampager. Serrated Arrows. Well, this is an old one. Sapphire Charm. Get Rog Monster! Man, some good packs today. The Foil. More Treasonous Ogre. That's a nice get rog right there. Death touch at the beginning of your upkeep. Sacrifice the get rog monster unless you sacrifice a land. You may play an additional land on each of your turns. If you have a land matters deck like with something with Lord Windgrace, uh, this would fit perfectly with that. Boom. I don't even know how that was that. Oh, Ojutai? Ojutai Interceptor? Water Corsair? Innocent Blood? 
I like that they mixed Battlebond in here. And prevent all combat that would be done. There's a lot of good cards in this videos. Oh, I didn't ruin that one. Mana tithe. Boom. Prey Caesar Dragon. Flying Devour. Wow. It's a big boy. And another chimney up. Last one. Wild Griffin. Divine Favor. Counter Magic. More Counter Magic. You can never have too much Counter Magic. Like ever. If you play blue, like it's scary to just it's scary to play blue in general because they're just gonna draw a whole bunch of cards and counter everything you try to put on the board, so good luck. Unless you have your own counter spells. What is this? Dark blast. Some great looking art there. Might be a good turn one card with minus one, minus one. Depends what the board state looks like. Dragon Fodder. This is a good card to have around too. I have this in my Bant Enchant Enchantress deck. Um, yeah, because it's all about enchantment, so it just gives you even more. Plus, uh, Astrid can throw enchantments out for pretty cheap. Dragon Scarred Bear. Fire and Ice. This is from a set long ago. Woo! Liliana, Death's Majesty. Man, these were just really good packs today. Really happy with this video. And the foil is that. Wow. So, we did get, what about, what, four mythics, five mythics today total? This is a good video. Really good. I'm really happy with it. Uh, I mean, these are some amazing polls. Looks like another fantastic, awesome video. I really appreciate everyone stopping by to check out the video. Ideally, I will announce the winners of each of these videos within 14 days of uploading time, roughly two weeks from when I can get it uploaded. Um, let me know what you've seen in today's video that interests you and how you would uh, use them. Uh, I do like those stories. You can just say what card you want, and that's fine as well. It still puts you into the drawing as long as you like, subscribe, do the other things. Please follow me on social media, some some direction, Twitter, Facebook, um, just so I have a way of making sure that I can get a hold of you if you do win, so I can get these things out to people. That's the whole point of what we're doing here. Um, like I said, I've personally seen some things here that would be wonderful in EDH. Um, Swift, Stary, Monastery, uh, Swift Spear Monastery would obviously be good in a modern deck if you already have some more of those. But if you like this video, please share it with others. Uh, click the like and subscribe buttons as well. Thank you for turning in. I look forward to seeing you in the next video. And until next time, goodbye.